a concept that I have done a few years on the show is an MMA award show. And one of my favorite analysts, favorite journalists in the game, Ariel Hawani, does this every year on his show. And more often times than not, I agree and sometimes I disagree with some of the awards that he hands out. And when I disagree with them, it's like, well, I need to put out who I believe should win these awards. If I'm a podcaster, I need to do this myself. I need to take a page out of his book and and give my analysis on who I believe should win some of these MMA awards. And I've been doing this segment for about three, four years now. I remember doing this actually, no, this is probably the fifth or sixth year that I've been doing this now because I remember breakout victory. I remember saying Conor McGregor against Diego Brandau. Now, ever since I started the podcast. So this is another year in the books. 2019 is in the past. It's January 6th. So I'm a little bit late because I really wanted to put together a really great list of MMA fighters that I believe deserve a ton of recognition. Now, whether they're male, female, you know, fighters deserve recognition regardless of gender. I think this sport, the sport of mixed martial arts, is really the only sport that gives equal credit to men and women. And I think that's what makes the sport so unique and so great among the many other reasons. So this is the uh, fifth year of the Ryan Thomas MMA Award Show, and I want to dive into some of the awards that we'll be going through today, just to give you you know, an idea of what type of awards I'll be handing out. I'll be handing out the 2019 Male Takeover Fighter of the Year, the 2019 Male, or the 2019 Female Takeover Fighter of the Year, the 2019 Fight of the Year, the 2019 Round of the Year, and the 2019 Male Comeback Fighter of the Year, as well as the 2019 MMA Upset of the Year, the 2019 Most Impressive Title-Winning Performance, the 2019 uh, Train Wreck of a Fight, quotations, a main event that let me down, 2019 Fighting Upset of the Year, in just in terms of fighting, and the 2019 MMA Personality Award of the Year. So, Personality Award is basically the fighter that I feel like burst out of the scene, whether you love them, whether you hate them, just someone that really made their name bigger. So I want to go into the first award, and it's the, the, the big award, the first award, the 2019 Male Fighter of the Year. Now, there were plenty of fighters that you could throw into this mix, Jorge Masvidal, Israel Adesanya, uh, Weili Zhang, Amanda Nunes, but obviously setting it apart from one another of male and female and giving those two fighters their own recognition, I really racked my brain over who I would hand out this award to, who I would give this award to, and I could not give it to another fighter, any other fighter but Jorge Masvidal. Jorge Masvidal has completely burst onto the scene. Massive wins over Darren Till, Ben Askren, and Nate Diaz. Those three straight victories have propelled Jorge Masvidal to superstardom. And here is a fighter that had a 500 record at one point, was really on the outside looking in, was a fighter that was not seen as a star by any stretch of the imagination that burst onto the scene in his 16th year. As a professional fighter, his 16th year as a professional fighter, we never see that in combat sports ever for a fighter to come out of the woodwork and come out of nowhere that was down on his luck and to be now considered in the same breath as a superstar in the you know comparison of Conor McGregor, Jorge Masvidal is a massive star within the UFC brand. 2019 Female Fighter of the Year. Weili Zhang could have easily won this award. She burst onto the scene with a title-winning performance over Jessica Andrade. She was the first Chinese uh, Chinese UFC champion, which I think really holds a lot of weight in terms of the history of martial arts, uh, being you know Bruce Lee dating back hundreds and hundreds of years ago. China, the principles of that country, are literally the, the foundation of MMA. There have been so many... Um, pioneers within mixed martial arts 
that are from China. So for Weili Zhang to really burst out of the scene like this, she has so much potential. She's such a great fighter. She has the potential to really be a massive name in the sport of MMA for a long time if she can continue this run. But I honestly, as, as much praise as I have for Zhang, I had to give this award to Amanda Nunes. I had to give her the props that she deserves as the best female fighter of all time. Look what Look at what she's done. She's beaten Valentina Shevchenko. She's beaten uh, Valentina Shevchenko not once but twice. Arguably tough, close fights, but wins that went her way. She's beaten Misha Tate. She's beaten Holly Holm. She's beaten Cyborg. She's beaten Jermaine Durand me. She has fought the best of the best and has beaten them all. Ronda Rousey was destroyed by Amanda Nunes. And I, I just can't pick another fighter for female fighter of the year. But Amanda Nunes, she dominated Cyborg, she dominated Holly Holm, and she dominated Jermaine Duran and me. I think that needs to be the female fighter of the year. 2019 fight of the year, the biggest barn burner in the sport, no doubt about it. The slobber knocker, in the words of Jim Ross, was Israel Adesanya versus Kelvin Gastelum. Now this fight was an interim UFC title fight. The winner had not... You know, there was no true champ in this fight. Robert Whitaker, the former UFC champ, middleweight UFC champ, was waiting in the wings, waiting to see who he would fight next. And Israel Adesanya and Kelvin Gastelum put on one of the best fights that you will ever see. Not only do I have Israel Adesanya and Kelvin Gastelum as my 2019 fight of the year, but my 2019 round of the year and round five a hellacious pace was put forth from Israel Adesanya and Kelvin Gastelum to close out that fight. It was reminiscent of the days of Robbie Lawler and his fight with Ray McDonald. It was a true brawl, a true slobber knocker, barn burner, toe-to-toe fight fest between Israel Adesanya and Kelvin Gastelum. 2019 male comeback fighter of the year, and actually, to me, I think this is the comeback fighter of the year. So we're going to take the male component out of it, we're going to say this is just the 2019 Comeback Fighter of the Year. And I I rack my brain on this one, but I think that it's safe to say that the UFC heavyweight champ, Stipe Miocic, deserves this award. For as rough as that was for Stipe to, to, to lose the title to Daniel Cormier in the fashion that he did via knockout, it was just as triumphant a return, just as triumphant a win to fight Daniel Cormier in a rematch and get his belt back. And the way that it happened was epic, it was entertaining, and that is why we are going to get a third fight between Stipe Miocic and Daniel Cormier in the near future sometime in 2020. I expect that to be announced for maybe April, May, or June. Uh, I guess you know maybe April, maybe May, maybe June. I think sooner rather than later. I would lean towards May as the month that we could see Stipe Miocic and Daniel Cormier finish this trilogy and what will be the final fight of Daniel Cormier's career, win, lose, or draw. Stipe Miocic, though, does definitely d- definitely deserves uh, a ton of credit. This guy lost on a, on a massive, massive scale. Then you have Brock Lesnar coming to the octagon trying to pick a fight with Daniel Cormier. And Stipe, you know, Brock says Miocic, the piece of... Naganu the piece of, and Stipe is just dejected and embarrassed by the UFC brand. And had every reason to really, frankly, be upset with the UFC brand. And instead, he kept his head up, waited for the opportunity to fight DC again, got that opportunity, and made the most of it. So my 2019 Comeback Fighter of the Year, without a doubt, UFC heavyweight champ, Stipe Miocic. My 2019 MMA Upset of the Year. Alexander Volkanovsky and Max Holloway. This was a recent fight. This was a fight at featherweight that I thought Holloway would find a way to win and dominate this fight. And instead, Volkanovsky took the fight. Uh, unanimous decision, 48-47, 48-47, and 50-45, I believe, with the judges' scorecards. And for me, I mean, I did not think that was the case. I thought this fight was really close, and I arguably thought that Max Holloway won it. But... Alexander Volkanovsky rides off into the sunset with the UFC featherweight title. A huge upset, and I cannot wait to see that rematch because I think Max Holloway is going to be a little bit ticked off. He lost his belt in that fashion, 
and that he wants to get it back against Volkanovski. 2019 most impressive title women title winning performance. The 2019 most impressive title winning performance to me goes to the UFC welterweight champion Kamaru Usman with a win over Tyron Woodley. Woodley had been the welterweight champ for quite some time, getting some title defenses, rattling off some title defenses against Wonderboy uh, as well as Darren Till, and getting the opportunity for Woodley to fight Usman. You, you wondered how ready Usman was for that step up in competition because he never fought anyone like Woodley before. Not only did he fight Woodley, he dominated Woodley, and you can make a case that every round in that fight could have been 10-9. to Kamaru Usman wins the UFC welterweight title uh, back early in the year. The 2019 train wreck of a fight, a main event that let me down, a moment that let me down. I guess you could say the 2019 MMA moment, train wreck MMA moment. But when the doctor stepped in and stopped the BMF title fight between Jorge Masvidal and Nate Diaz. I mean, when you have a fight that is literally for the BMF baddest mother bleeper title and you stop it early, that's disappointing. That pissed me off. That, that did not need to happen. And yet there we were. There we were. Honorable mentions for fighting upset of the year. I, I threw an MMA upset out of out there for us. Max Holloway versus Alexander Volkanovsky. Volkanovsky getting that one. But I would be very, very wrong to not acknowledge the greatest boxing upset since the days of Mike Tyson and Buster Douglas with Andy Ruiz defeating Anthony Joshua in the first fight. It was incredible. One of the most incredible Moments in combat sports history, Andy Ruiz, this short, pudgy boxer, going toe-to-toe with Anthony Joshua, whooping Anthony Joshua bell-to-bell, and ultimately forcing Anthony Joshua to be a dejected Anthony Joshua and quit in the ring. It was unreal. I am still shocked that it happened. Both fighters agreed to a rematch, and Anthony Joshua got the better of Andy Ruiz, but you definitely saw in that fight, not only was Andy Ruiz a lot heavier, but you definitely saw in that fight that Anthony Joshua was not going to play the trade stand and bang game with Andy Ruiz. He was going to get in, get out, stick and move, and outbox him, and he did just that. Boxing KO of the year as well, another you know knockout of the year would be Deontay Wilder and, and Dominic, Dominic Brazil. Um, I, I definitely go out on a limb here and say that... Um, you know, the knockout of the year in MMA, not really going out on a limb, but the knockout of the year in MMA is definitely Kamaru, or is, um, pardon me, is Jorge Masvidal versus Ben Askren, the fastest knockout in UFC history. But Deontay Wilder versus Dominic Brazil, uh, one of the better overhand rights that I've ever seen in a boxing fight, lands perfectly on the chin and down goes Brazil, and Deontay Wilder gets another win as he tried to inch closer to that Tyson Fury rematch, which is happening next month here uh, in the world of boxing, which is fantastic. Last but not least, the 2019 MMA Personality Award of the Year. The Personality Award goes to the fighter that I believe really set himself apart in terms of the headlines, really got himself involved and achieved what he wanted to, which was fame. Love him or hate him, Colby Covington did just that. A year or two ago, if I said the name Colby Covington, no one would even have known who he was. But here we are, whether you love him or you hate him, the ultimate fighting heel. Colby Covington is well known, whether you like it or not. Submission of the year, Bryce Mitchell's Twister. Go watch it. It was unreal. There you have it. Those are the Ryan Thomas MMA Awards. More like the Ryan Thomas Combat Sports Awards with a little twist at the end featuring some boxing recognition. If you want to follow me, follow me on Twitter at Ryan Thomas Take as well as Instagram at Ryan Thomas Take. I'd love to hear from all the MMA combat sports fans out there. I love mixed martial arts. We are counting down the days here, at least I am, counting down the days to the return of Conor McGregor. I have a lot of content coming out in regards to the Conor McGregor-Donald Cerrone fight. It's going to be a great fight. It's going to be a great card. Anthony Pettis on the card. Holly Holm on the card. Some familiar names on the card. Raquel Pennington, Holly Holm. That'll be a good fight. The return of Anthony Pettis as well will be a fun one. I can't wait. It should be a great, great night of fights. January 18th, Saturday. 
and I will definitely have you guys covered. A lot of different coverage as well. Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, heavyweight title fight. This is going to be very, very interesting. We'll dive into that fight in the coming weeks as well. Take care.